this man wore this to the Bridgerton season 3 premiere. Now let me show you this. Do you see it? It was right in front of us all along. He was mocking us and we didn't even see it. Kudos to that stylist by the way. At least now it's confirmed. Benedict is the lead of Bridgerton season 4. The Cinderella story is on the way and here's what we know about it. Benedict Bridgerton's story is based on the third book in Julia Quinn's Bridgerton book series, An Offer from a Gentleman. This one was skipped to show us Colin and Penelope's love story first, but now it's time for Benedict and the Lady in Silver to shine. The book is about one Sophie whose background and love story to Benedict is a recreation of Cinderella. Yeah, that famous story with a young girl who is tormented by her stepmother and step-siblings. Sophie is born as an illegitimate daughter to an earl and a maid. Sophie is taken by the earl as his ward but is never really allowed to call him father. She is practically raised by other servants. When Sophie is 10 years old, her father marries a woman called Araminta Railing who has two daughters. You probably guess how the rest of the story goes. Araminta despises Sophie and when the Earl dies, Sophie is treated like a maid even well after she is 20 years old. And then a masquerade ball is hosted by the Bridgertons and Sophie goes there in disguise in a gorgeous silver gown, silver gloves, silver mask and silver shoes. That's why you will see she's referred to as Lady in Silver. There's one big indicator about who Sophie could be in Bridgerton. Her stepmother's name is Araminta. Do you know who has that name on the show? Cressida's mom, Lady Cowper. That's why some people speculated that Cressida was Sophie, but no. It is possible that Sophie is Lord Cowper's illegitimate daughter we can learn about in season 4. Perhaps he has been hiding Sophie in a country estate for years. But maybe she is Lord Cowper's brother's daughter and now the Cowper household has to take care of her after the brother's death. Cressida's mother's name cannot be a mere coincidence. Sophie could be staying at the Cowper household somehow. Let's go back to the masquerade ball in question. This was teased in the season 3 finale when Eloise and Benedict talked about a masquerade ball Violet would host next year. Benedict confirmed that he would be attending the ball. This was a big indicator that season 4 would have the masquerade ball with Benedict as the lead. In the latest promo, that was once again verified. Hello? I hear we're fitting you for a suit. I already have an outfit for tonight. Oh no, it's not for tonight. It's for the masquerade ball. Hmm. In that case... The ball is significant because, well, first, it's where Benedict and Sophie meet for the first time, and second, it is the last ball Violet Bridgerton throws before moving to a dowager house. Season 4 will begin with a Benedict glow up, although I don't know how that's possible. This man has already reached peak cuteness. As for Sophie, the actress who will play her is not known yet. In the book, Sophie has curled dark blonde hair and green eyes. She is usually described as one of the most beautiful women in the Bridgerton book series. She literally causes a stir with her beauty when she arrives at the masquerade ball. When season 3 was being filmed, we all thought Masali Badouza would portray Sophie, but that turned out to be completely wrong. She ended up being Michaela out of all people. Now, there are rumors that the actors for Sophie will be East Asian. Earlier this year, there was a casting call for an East Asian actress to play a major recurring role, a woman named Emily. Emily is described as a woman who is roughly 24 to 30 years old. She's plucky, endlessly resourceful, and has trouble trusting others. In the casting call, they also said that the role would involve nudity and scenes of sexual nature, which indicates that Emily could be the main love interest. It's understandable that they're giving the character a fake name to prevent leaks. After the change in Book Michael's gender and transforming him into Michaela, some fans believe it's possible that Sophie could be turned into a man as Benedict was shown to be bisexual in season 3, but these are just rumors. I personally don't think they would change two main book characters' gender, but what do you think? Besides Benedict and Sophie, what else do we know about season 4? We know that Colin and Penelope will be back as Nicola Coughlin confirmed it in an interview. Their main storyline should revolve around Colin being a writer, navigating Penelope being out as Lady Whistledown and managing the Featherington household as well as being new parents. Anthony and Kate could return for season 4. 
Simone Ashley said that she and Jonathan Bailey will do their best to find a place for Bridgerton in their busy schedules, so they might return for one or two episodes, but don't get your hopes up for too much Kenthony. Season 4 should also focus on Francesca's new marriage to John and her growing friendship with Michaela. I do hope that they portray Francesca as in love with John and not just as someone who is pining for Michaela. Season 3 tried to do a lot of convincing to paint Francesca and John as in love, even though their love was different than what we're used to seeing on the show. But Francesca's face after their first kiss and her immediate fall for Michaela signaled that she may not be in love with John after all. In Francesca's book, she really loves John and they try having a child, but they have fertility issues. This storyline should be a part of season 4. At the same time, we should see Francesca and Michaela growing close together. As for Eloise, we will see her time in Scotland. Maybe she will get inspired by Michaela and her freedom and careless attitude. And when she returns for the Masquerade Ball, we might see her team up with Penelope to find the Lady in Silver. Wouldn't that be a great storyline? I can also see Queen Charlotte trying to find the mysterious Lady in Silver. The queen does need a game to play, otherwise she gets bored as you know it. For Violet, it's a given that Marcus is going to be a big part of her life. I cannot wait to see Violet in love and having a passionate story. The filming for the season will start in September of this year. That will be around the time the actor or actress for Sophie should be announced as I'm sure if Netflix doesn't announce it, there will be leaks from the set anyway. Possible candidates are actresses like Jessica Hanwick, known for playing Nymeria Sand in Game of Thrones, or Jessie Mae Lee, known for Netflix's Shadow and Bone. I have also been seeing Gemma Moore, who was in Red Eye and Lockwood & Co. What do you think about these names? The filming takes 8 months and the season itself may not come until 2026, unfortunately. The showrunner Jess Brownell said we are working to try and put the seasons out more quickly but they do take 8 months to film and then they have to be edited and then they have to be dubbed into every language. And the writing takes a very long time as well so we're kind of on a 2 year pace, we're trying to speed up but somewhere in that range. So Bridgerton season 4 is most likely to come out in the first half of 2026. If you want to learn more about a potential spin-off that can come out between seasons 3 and 4, check out this video.